All right, we have our vacuum pump here set up. We're gonna go drain the system out before we remove the slave cylinder. And I just wanted to show you how simple and easy it is. Basically, we loosen the bleed screw here, attached our rubber attachment here. Our vacuum pump is has our air line attached and as simple as pulling the trigger. You can actually see the fluid being pulled from the slave cylinder into the reservoir of our vacuum pump. And we're just gonna keep the nozzle um, depressed until we're completely drained of fluid. And that's simple. And as soon as we're empty, you can kind of see the uh, fluid go through the line here. As soon as you see nothing but straight air, that means our system's completely wet. Here's a brake fluid fill bottle, and here is our reservoir mount. This mount here sits right on the ledge of the reservoir. This is our check valve on and off. We're going to open it up. We're going to let it fill. As it's filling there, we're going to begin to use the vacuum assist pump. And you'll see how it draws fluid. And here we go. As you can see, it's starting to take on fluid as it fills up the slave cylinder and the line. Once we start pulling a steady stream of fluid out of our vacuum pump, then we know the system is bled. What, this, what the fill bottle does is doesn't let the reservoir ever run dry because it's a steady stream of fluid. And once when we feel like the system is completely bled, then we just shut the valve off at the fill bottle. As you can see, it's still filling up the reservoir. We're gonna let the reservoir fill to the fill line and then shut the valve off. And then as you can see, we can pull the fill bottle out for a clean bleed.